Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services back with another tutorial video. This one's on creating vertical text in both Finale and Sibelius. Most of the time, of course, your text is going to be horizontal, whether it's lyrics, expressions, dynamics. But occasionally you have the need to create vertical text, and we'll show you how to do it in both programs. It's actually a pretty straightforward process. We're starting with Sibelius today, and the method is actually similar in both programs. We're going to go and create a new line. To do that, you actually go to House Style and Edit Lines. Why are we going to create a line, you say, when we want to actually create text? Well, you'll see the method to this in, a, in just a moment. It'll make itself clear. I'm going to create a new line based on the uh, Gliss line, although you can base it on really any line. Uh, I'm just selecting this because it's already got text and it doesn't take a whole lot to modify it to the way I want it. Click on New and say Yes to the dialog. And I'm just going to rename this really whatever I want. Uh, I'm going to name it vertical text. That'll be the name of the new line. I'm going to change the width to zero and you'll start seeing how this is going to happen. Now there's actually no line whatsoever but I still have text. So what do I want to do next? I actually want to just change the text to whatever it is that I, I want to put in the document. In this case I want to say choir. And you would select the text style that you, know, you want the text to appear in. Uh, this is based on your ordinary list of text styles that are in the document. If you don't like whatever is uh, uh, existing, you can always create more text styles based on font size and, uh, and so on. So click OK. And that's basically it. Now, as you see, I've got my new line, if you will. It's a hidden line uh, with text on it, the choir line. And uh, now what I want to do is actually create this line. It's, remember, it's still a line even though we're dealing with text. To do that, I hit L, or of course the long way is to go to create line and there's my new vertical line if you will it's the choir line say OK and it appears right there and you see a very faint hidden line I don't know if you can see it uh, let's zoom in a little bit there's a very faint hidden line right there and uh, just to prove that it won't actually print if I turn off hidden objects uh, that line completely goes away well that's nice, but the text is still actually uh, horizontal, you say. Well, not for long. I'm going to turn hidden objects back on, zoom out a little bit more. And now, if I want to uh, make this line vertical and the text vertical, just drag it up like that. And Sibelius actually won't let you go past the uh, zero point on the y-axis. So you just you have uh, complete confidence that you're completely, completely vertical. Go ahead and click on that line now and then just drag it into place. And look at that. I've got vertical text in Sibelius. Okay, let's go to uh, Finale, and you'll see actually our house style is pretty similar between the both, uh, both of the programs. Same process, gonna go to the Smart Shape tool, create on, um, click on the Custom Line tool, actually Option click on it, or Control click, I believe, on PC. That'll actually bring up the selection dialog, which will allow me to create a new line. And again, even though we're creating vertical text we have to go through the line tool to do this in this particular case same process zero thickness you see no line appears in this preview window create whatever text I like in this case instead of text styles you can change the font right here or the size I'm gonna change it to 14 instead of 12 make it a little bigger hit OK and you might as well do the same thing for the center abbreviation this just ensures that no matter the size of your line you um, will have the same text. So I've created my line and that's basically it. Now that line is selected and in order to place it correctly in Finale I'd actually uh, first hold down Shift. That will um, make sure that it's either horizontal or in this case vertical which is what I want. And then I'm just going to double click where I want it and then drag the line up. Nothing appears. Oh, there it is. There's my line, and the text as it actually isn't expanding with the line. It's just kind of moving up along the center of it, depending on where the line actually is. And you see it actually uh, fades away from view for a second, but the line is there. No worries. And I'm just going to drag it into place. And there's my vertical text in Finale. And it's basically the same process, more or less, between Finale and, uh, and there's my line in Sibelius. Looks the same. Same process. You create a uh, in essence, a line to create vertical text. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks again for watching.